Hello, hello, and welcome to another update video about Sui. Just wanted to take a look at the shorter time frame here today because the price now dipped into the support region highlighted in orange. Talked about that yesterday. Um, the price pushed a little bit higher in the morning, um, then, however, sold off and pretty much yeah, a little bit later than the, let's say, the wider sector that already sold off yesterday. Um, Sui joined the pack. <laughs> Sui joined the crew. And also, yeah, you know, we are, I think it was like 10% down or something. So not a major surprise given that we've really only just entered the support area for this fourth wave. Um, so structurally nothing changes, right? I mean, a few microstructures shifted, but that's pretty much it. Overall, the idea is still, but only as long as we're holding 140. Um, and, and okay, 140 is the key level, the first key level. That's the 50% retracement that's relevant for this fourth wave. As long as we're holding that, I'd still like to see one more high in wave five of circle three to 247. Below 140, it's still possible for the price to maintain its bullish posture. Um, 120 is going to be support then, but I tell you that below 120, it is confirmed that the red wave C of two has topped. I mentioned to you before that this red wave two could form a top in this region around 177. And well, as long as we're holding support, everything's fine, right? Everything's good, but naturally, the charts, uh, let's say the risk has increased given that we've reached ideal targets for red wave C of two. Don't forget about this, right? Um, how you handle this from a trading point of view is of course up to you. Depends on your risk profile, when you entered, all sorts of things. But please note that around the 100% extension mark, red wave C has an ideal target. But we cannot confirm a top until a support level breaks. First support, 140, that's meaningful. That's Fibonacci support, relevant for the Elliott wave counts. Below 140, 120. Below 120, I don't have any bullish, I don't have any bullish option left. Okay, but for now, I'm still watching for higher. I'm gonna watch if the market can hold above 140 or alternatively 120. Um, if not, yeah, then we will have to look at the structure. If the chart shows five wave patterns to the downside, it is likely the beginning of the third wave to the downside in red, which I'm not sure where I've got it placed here somewhere. Maybe not, e no, I haven't got it. Have it. Yeah, there you go here, red, I don't know. So it looks better if I zoom out properly. So yeah, uh, red wave three here to the downside could then lead us to another low. Now again, that is not preferred at this stage because the market has formed very nice impulsive movements to the upside and we're still holding above Fibonacci support, okay? So much more would be needed from a bearish side to confirm that. But again, you know, we are in that area where the red wave two might form a top. Um, we can really only rule out completely red wave two if the price breaks above the previous swing high from March, and that would be a move above round about $2.20. So let's say a move above that 1.236 extension highlighted here in blue. No? This would also invalidate the red count. That would be pretty good. Then we would be in all time, is it all time high territory? No, that's up there. Okay, but that's all related to that kind of weird startup candle. But it would already place us into territory where, yeah, the immediate, let's say, I mean, the price can always sell off, but the immediate setup for a bearish wave count would be um, would be invalidated. Okay, so that's how I see it at the moment. Um, overall, still watching for higher, but on the micro level, and this is a count I shared earlier today on Discord, on the micro level, I think we're dealing with an ABC structure. The C wave might easily form one more low. And here around $1.51, $1.52, I mean, that's the ideal target for such a fourth wave. It's a 38.2 retracement, right? It's quite common for a fourth wave to reach that level. So I'm going to watch it. Um, immediate resistance here is between 180 and 172, and we are still holding below it. And it seems like it needs one more low because, you know, such a C wave, is typically a five wave move. One, two, three, four, five. So that's what I'm uh, watching at the moment for Sui. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.